Hiya, I'm Brad, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple score counter in Castle. So here's what I've already got in this card. There's a cloud actor, and when that's tapped, it creates five little pieces of cloud, plays a sound, and then it's destroyed. Here are the little pieces of cloud. When they're created, they randomize their X and Y dynamic motion properties, so they fly off in different directions, and they play a little animation. Here's how all that looks together. The first thing we need to do is set up our score variable. So we're going to tap the cog, tap add new variable, and then rename that variable as score. Next we're going to add to the rule on the cloud so that the score variable goes up by one when the cloud is tapped and destroyed. We're going to modify the value of a variable. Specify that it's a deck variable. Select the score variable that we just made. Set the value to 1 and then check the relative to current value box. That means that the score variable will be set to 1 more than its current value. Next we're going to add a new blueprint using the plus sign and tap text. We're going to rename that to score to keep things organized and we're going to change the content to 000. zero, zero. I'm also going to spend way too long looking at fonts, so I'll skip through this. The easiest way to set up a score tracker is just to type the name of the variable that we want to display. We're going to include that dollar sign at the beginning to indicate that it's a variable, and you'll see that even in the editor, this displays the current value of that variable. But I'm also going to show you how to achieve the same result using rules. So we're going to head to the logic tab and add a rule. The trigger is going to be when a variable changes, specifically that score variable that we just set up. and we're going to modify the content of their text to the value of that score variable. So whenever a player taps a cloud, the score on screen will update. And just to make sure, we're going to make another rule that's triggered when the object is created, so that's when the card is loaded. That's just going to modify the text property to zero as a starting point. So we're going to place the actor on screen, resize it a little bit, and then hit the play button to give it a go. And look at that, it works. But high score of one isn't much of a game. At the minute, only one cloud ever appears. But as you can see here in fast forward, I'm making an actor that randomizes clouds over and over again. So now, if we try it again, we keep on tapping clouds and we keep on increasing our score. Okay, that's all I'm going to do right now. If you like this video, let me know. If you want me to make videos about something else, let me know. And yeah, find me on Castle, at Brad. Bye.